So, hello, good evening, and welcome to Women's Only Wednesday here on the Full Speed Events YouTube channel brought to you by, well, no prizes for guessing. Here it is, Full Speed Events and Swift. Massive thank you to the team at Swift for uh, putting uh, uh, together the plans that were carefully laid and crafted by the one and only uh, Emma Martin in one of her organising moments when she had her organising hat on, rather than maybe her commentary hat, which was in use yesterday for the Iceni Women's Race. We'll catch up with Emma about that, uh, no doubt, during the ride, as well as, of course, being a coach and all the other things that she does. I know, too busy, too many things. I'm relatively quiet at the moment. It's really nice. I'm actually enjoying getting ready to go out to France and uh, going to be very in there. Um, Lisa Jane Lee already commenting that I have a winter cycling with me. I have a being outdoors and not riding the bike due to having a bit of a uh, dodgy neck getting an old gimmer, aka bouncing down the road on my head and I can't really be bothered doing anything about it. They'll be all aerodynamic for the summer. We will see. Right, let's tell you where we're going tonight, because tonight is a bit of a special one. It is our penultimate WOW or Women's Only Wednesday, and we are heading to one of my favourite routes if we were going the other way. This way is actually quite tough, uh, and uh, I have to say I find this really difficult this way around, but it's a choice of our uh, yellow beacon tonight, the organiser, Emma, and uh, as you can see, we're going to Crit City. We're going to the Bell Lap, which means that we have the... Uh, course in the opposite way to normal so we go basically out from the pens turn right and then go around the uh, hairpin turn go up the roller coaster up those dolphin type bumps then we basically head down the steep descent go around the course and then repeat over and over we're going to repeat it 18 times which means that the finish line is at one lap to go so the lap board will say one lap to go that is the finish and then there's one lap warm down really 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 important one lap to go is the finish line tonight. I will say that lots in case somebody misses it, because somebody always does. Now, I've got to say a big thank you to Swift Hacks. So you can see the map up there. You can go on there. It's swifthacks.com to get all of the details of the maps uh, wherever you want to go in the world of Zwift. Big thank you to them, big supporters of the chain gang. And a big uh, thank you to Velovia, because when we look in more detail, you can see that course profile. So you can see that we have our... Bell lap route. It is out from the start line. It's that gradual climb up. Then we drop straight back down again very quickly indeed. It's actually a tricky course to stay together on, and that is going to be under the control of our yellow beacon. Now, our yellow beacon is going to be the one and only Emma Martin, and we have got a new red beacon for tonight. This is the one and only Maz Heffron. I took a particularly flattering picture of Maz to use as her beacon picture. Thank you very much for Maz for taking the red beacon because it does embody pretty much everything that is fun about the WoW. It's a bit mad, it's a bit zany, it's a bit fun, and uh, every now and then it makes you stick your tongue out because you're going quite hard. So, let's catch up, first of all, with our yellow beacon once we get the riders underway. They're about to leave the pen, so uh, we're going to go jump in with them in a second as they make their way out uh, from the uh, start line here in Crit City. I'm hoping that they're all going to get out from the pen. Okay, it's looking pretty good at the moment, and we're going to be riding in with our yellow beacon. So let's dive in on the ride. You can see our riders are already on route, and we're going to uh, just uh, head out uh, with the riders at the moment. So uh, it looks like uh, everybody just heading out from the pen. So let's dive in with our yellow beacon and see... Uh, How's she going? And she's keeping everybody together. Uh, good evening, Emma. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Matt. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. It's great to have you on the chain gang again. You're uh, leading the crew out and around the wonderful world of Crit City. It is a tricky circuit, this. It is because of the rolling climb that we are about to come onto at the moment. You come around that corner at the bottom. And then we go on to this roller section, which takes us up. I think it's going to be critical later on tonight. But right now, it's about staying together. And the uh, riders who are with you tonight, I'm sure uh, uh, there's going to be a few sore legs. Uh, a number of uh, people out and racing yesterday in the Iceni race. 
yet. There were indeed, so uh, good to see any of the riders who took part last night. It's nice to be back on a bike myself rather than sat in the studio where you are. Well, yes, uh, you were uh, basically uh, doing the uh, doing the talking last night, and now you're uh, in and uh, doing the uh, in doing the uh, riding tonight. How does that transition go? Do you feel the need to commentate whilst you're riding? Not at all. I quite often feel the need to ride whilst I'm commentating, though. Well, that's probably very understandable. We'll catch up with you and let you uh, go herd cats and uh, keep the uh, ride under control as we watch our riders make the way around the circuit for the first lap of 18 proper laps before we go in there. So good luck tonight, Emma. Thank you. So great to hear from Emma, our uh, yellow beacon, our organiser who's uh, down on there. And as uh, uh, Emma is uh, just putting the share itself, it's uh, uh, tight to yellow. Now, one of the things we are going to do tonight, we're going to uh, try and catch up with all of our riders. We're just uh, watching Emma from Full Speed Events, our yellow beacon. As we make our way round the uh, turn here and then uh, make our way down in and to towards the cobbles. You can see very, very tight, very quick on the way down. Just to get the back of this group, it looks to me like we've got some uh, rear mobs, mobs holding the back. The uh, group just splitting a little bit under the uh, pressure here because you've got uh, Alice von Secker with us. Alice in with the uh, gang. Now, I have to admit, I didn't get to watch all of last night's ICD. Um, it's been a busy day here, prepping uh, for the uh, trip heading over to France. It's also been a very busy, uh, very busy trip, uh, making our way over and uh, uh, getting ready to head uh, to uh, the uh, various uh, races we've got uh, planned as well. And of course, we've uh, also got uh, Emma uh, having to uh, do all of the catching up from last night's racing. As prep, everybody always says when you're doing the race uh, uh, that it must be then uh, quite straightforward when you're doing the prep following. Well, usually it's actually even harder, uh, and that is because when you are really busy doing the uh, commentary, you're busy putting words to the action that you see, you can't then see everything. So you actually have to go back and then catch up with all of your notes when you got on the way through. So we will see. Now, Pitmore just going to jump out, and then we do have the. Uh, 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 late join available for riders for half an hour uh, so uh, don't forget you can jump in at any time one rider who we hope is not going to have to jump back in is Maz so uh, Maz from the Aonian squad one of our uh, regular riders uh, on the uh, women's only Wednesday J gang one of our super quick riders as well riding for the Aonian squad will no doubt be nursing a few riders up to uh, Angela Webster on there, so we're one lap complete. We have 17 more to go to our finish up, one lap to the end. So uh, then we will have one lap of warm down to go as well. So at the moment, Angela Webster, we've got a really quick run, just uh, there with uh, Mass from the Aonian squad, just uh, taking a, a little look at behind. And I think Angela's just uh, jumping in and out, or it may well be. So we have got a little bit of a jump in and M on the Swift. Have to uh, uh, say it's a bit a little bit uh, tricky on the way through with the uh, uh, various updates that have been such people. Okay, now we can see that we've got uh, Harriet Rob back with us. Harriet was in at the uh, Shay Gang uh, uh, last week and uh, back in with us on one skate. You can see that uh, orange jersey on the uh, track there. And, uh, like uh, nicely tucked in to the group. We've got uh, Laura Choke back in with us. see Laura on the Shea Gang as well. So Laura in here, just uh, leading the uh, group up here. Making the most people up on to the uh, front. Good to see Laura in with the uh, gang once again. Looks like we've got uh, Anne Magritte, uh, uh, Ida in here. So uh, good to have Anne. Uh, in here, so Anne Magritte, the, uh, one of our riders joining us here on the Women's Only Wednesday. Let's have you on board. But you enjoy yourself out and riding today. Got Rhea Mobs, uh, the rider with the big target uh, on the back. We do need to get Rhea a uh, kick that basically says, I'm the rider to beat. 
Because uh, rear is the rider to watch out for on the felt with the uh, disc on the back as well as the deep belt rim. That would definitely be my choice on this circuit every single time. It is by far, as far as I'm concerned, the fastest of our bits of uh, riding uh, that we do around the circuit. But in this direction, we've done some uh, long and drag it's a fast descent up there. Now, good to see that we've got uh, Julie Fudge, one of our first riders in the zoo. The uh, star pens in the pink, just dead central on our screens at the moment. Looking uh, like uh, just in front of our yellow beacon, who's just looking the uh, back wheel. Now, this is Jake not using the trice, but it's not down the two right here. It's now. At uh, least Jaden Lakes on the uh, Tron bike, but going for yet another outfit, I have to say. Lisa's ability to find uh, kit from uh, the uh, various rides is quite impressive. So, more kit, another Tron bike. Flat cap because you can see where we are going to stem the uh, uh, way its way in through uh, from uh, the uh, Donny Chain Gang and into the Donny Wow, into the DC Wow, DC G, into the Wow. So, on Wednesday, you go. This is our Pinocchio's got one, one more. We're going back next week to one of our staple line routes, uh, which uh, will bring up a little bit later now. Let's have a little look at who else we've got here. This is from the Donny Rebels in here. Just going to try and get a view of Lucy. I think she's just going to be on the other side of the course. Uh, so Lucy, yeah. Uh, Spinning away nicely, another lap complete. Uh, well, this is his way down the uh, straight here. And we're speeding up again. You can see that uh, plenty of people getting uh, what are going to be confetti. Uh, congratulations, because they've purchased the Good to see that uh, we've got Selin Gauche uh, uh, in here, the uh, Fujay rider. Uh, nice and touch in with the uh, group, so uh, uh, looks like uh, sailing, uh, looking uh, very comfortable in the uh, group at the moment here on the uh, drum bike as well in that uh, Fruitry squad, the light blue uh, jersey with the dark blue shorts, which you can as well, which is always a uh, good look. We've got a casket to match, still on. Group uh, looking pretty smooth. We're here in Crick City for the uh, Wow Chain Gang. The Wu's only Wednesday Chain Gang. As we make our way up, this is the run to the green line. Moment, the group are rolling around our uh, yellow beacon, keeping everybody uh, tucked in and set. Uh, it's uh, back to the month of water kilo. So she doesn't know which way round to go. Like this course best, she likes this course best. That's really, really interesting because I know I absolutely love it the other way round. I'm absolutely detesting this way round. Uh, don't like the long drag. Give me that short sprint to the hill every single time. Uh, much, much more fun than that direction round. Uh, I have to say. Now, let's take another look. Another uh, fast time to over here. Good to see we've got Jill Vale in here from the. Next, uh, presented by Ensure. The uh, squad on the way down uh, through with Jill here in the gang here tonight on the, the uh, trick course. And uh, it's a course that our riders should know well if they were uh, racing last night. So uh, as we make our way round, uh, heading in towards our next lap, we'll see if we can grab a quick uh, chat with last night's commentator of uh, three races across four categories. Uh, so 12, uh, 12 winners in total, I think, over the course of the evening. Uh, Emma. So. You were talking all about ICD last night. You had three courses, and I think you were on this course as well. We were. They were indeed. Um, so the one of the mini races uh, was indeed on Bell Lap on Trip City. Four laps, though. So uh, not the 19 we're doing tonight. Well, that's probably a bonus uh, in terms of being out there and making it... Uh, uh, pretty smooth and pretty easy to ride. Hopefully, it's going to uh, 
uh, be a little bit easier with the number of laps we have tonight because it might just smooth things out because it was quite a jumpy race, wasn't it? Yeah, because Supreme was also in play last night as well. So four laps with uh, point three start on the Supreme and then points on the finish line. And there was no draft map last night, so uh, ladies in the bunch tonight tucked in nicely on road bikes, not on time trial bikes. I know, I can't imagine anything worse, to be honest, than going around the crib circuit with no draft. That seems like counterintuitive. Uh, well, it's turned on tonight, and uh, I think there's a lot of people tucked in the bunch nicely. Well, that'd be good to see. And uh, so you're halfway through the uh, ride, uh, when you were out on uh, finishing last night at the end of uh, sort of halfway, any thoughts yep. on the on the racing so far? Has it been the same riders, different riders? Um, oh. Have you seen expected winners or new winners? Really, really interesting. Um, I did take a look at the uh, what the uh, racing last night was done to the overall series in terms of points. That's really interesting because it's really, really close. We've got lots of very, very strong riders in each of the four categories of our CD. And, uh, well, strong riders are not having it their own way because there's real strength and depth in the field. So some very close points, even after all the points that were up last night for taking. Great to see. And the event, of course, is supported by quite a number of people, isn't it? So. Uh, ZMS Studios doing the uh, streaming, yep. we at Full Speed Events are supporting the event uh, as uh, sponsors uh, with the commentary uh, and with the uh, prep and the, the uh, studios. We've also got uh, a lot of work being done by the Aeonian team uh, that our red beacons from and our yellow tonight. Yeah, so the Aeonian race team along with the Warrior Games are putting the uh, series on and Skull and Goat are also supporting the event. That's really, really good to hear. And uh, all part of the Warrior Games have been promoting lots and lots of women's racing for a long time. Yeah, they have indeed. We did the uh, Tour of Budapest, the three-day stage race earlier on in the year, back in January. So uh, really good to see some of the riders who rode that event on the Icini series as well. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, watching back the whole of the show and uh, catching up before we get into next week's race. Where's Icini heading for the uh, racing next week? Oh, challenge number three next Tuesday is a climbing challenge. So we're heading to one and only Yorkshire. Ooh. We're on the pump room at eight. OK, that's an interesting circuit to uh, test everybody out on. on uh, on the pump room eight uh, circuit, going to be uh, going to be some very very uh, hard riding for people then. Yeah, there is. So uh, they all need to come and spin their legs out on a very flat wow next Wednesday. And it is the very last wow, isn't it, uh, for this season uh, over the winter coming into uh, Wednesday? Uh, and uh, I suppose you better tell everybody where we are. So uh, next week is indeed the last wow chain gang of this season and we are heading to London to the Great London Flat Course. For those who can remember right back to September last year, it was the course we started on. So we are topping and tailing with the same course. Great London Flat normally ends in a sprint, normally really good fun. Excellent, so hopefully we're going to have a lot of people uh, jumping on to the chain gang uh, uh, and uh, enjoying that uh, next time round. We're just making our way down through the line with 14 laps to the finish line and 15 to the end uh, of the warm down. Uh, so we are quickly ticking off the laps here as we uh, make our way in and through. It's looking pretty controlled at the moment. Everybody's riding very smoothly. Yeah, they are indeed. Nice tight bridge tonight. So fabulous so far. Well, I'd let you get back to enjoy it because uh, not having to do uh, too much work, even putting it together, which is great to see. No. It's good though, talking and typing at the same time, quite tricky. It did, oddly enough, but uh, it's how we used to distract Russ as well to stop him from uh, triggering it too early when we needed a little bit more uh, distance in there. Maybe we'll make do the no. same to you later. Okay. <laughs> so we will see. Uh, good luck tonight, enjoy, and uh, thanks for that update on ICD, where we are headed on the way on next week. Thank you.
great hit from Emma there as we make our way up the climb. Interesting to see that uh, Lauren Chuck riding really strongly at the moment. She's uh, heading the uh, group up the climb there. Now Laura riding on a standard Swift bike here with spoke wheels. Uh, he's going to be giving away a lot of energy on the faster sections, but shows some real, uh, real class there. Uh, climbing up at the front of that group, taking the group up over the top of the climb time and time again. Now riding very, very well. Good to uh, see uh, Laura in that. I'm sure it won't be long uh, before she's uh, uh, changing that bike over. Currently on uh, level five, so uh, still got plenty of uh, uh, time to earn plenty of uh, drops and points on the way in and uh, through. Of course, uh, we've got riders in lots of different levels of uh, Swift. Uh, to give you an indication, if we uh, uh, drop across somebody like uh, Angela Webster, uh, Angela is on level 66 at the moment. So that is so going, level 66 for Angela. Uh, I'm not sure who of our riders is at the uh, highest level. Uh, we're going to have a uh, little bit of a check. Can't, uh, can't uh, check out everybody because it depends on uh, the, uh, their profile, but uh, uh, I'm sure some of our real fast riders should be should be slightly further up the uh, standings than that, but we will have to uh, see. Uh, depends on where they are. Pitmore's not far off at six level 64 at the moment. Um, Saline, who is in here, I Saline's going to take a little bit of a check for it. Rears on, rears on 41, well, the speed she goes, that should be absolutely flying away through the uh, uh, series, uh, through the uh, levels. Uh, Alice von second, level 33, halfway through level 33. Uh, it's quite a good level to get to, actually. Uh, at least Jane Lake for all the outfits that she has on, uh, so we should be on a big number. In fact, the highest so far, at least Jane Lake, uh, level 79. Level 79, that is a lot of riding on Swift uh, over the years. Uh, to give you an indication, to get to uh, level 79, that is 56,965 kilometers and a total elevation gain of 459,593 meters. Absolutely stunning stuff. Uh, by uh, Lisa Jane and Light there to uh, be uh, uh, riding at level 79. That is some gorgeous The big number for me, the most important and the most impressive, is uh, slices of pizza burn. 2,899 slices of pizza. That is excellent. Uh, and uh, what's almost as impressive is it's 76 days. And nine hours of least Lee's life she spent on Swift. Lisa, 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 that is some scary, scary numbers. That is 76, I can't actually believe this, 77 days of riding on Swift. Anybody who's done more than that, let us know, because that is a pretty impressive number, uh, it has to be said. Um, there is I think the rider who is further up. I was waiting to see if I could find them. Now, let's have a guess. Uh, which rider is further up? Let's do a double check. Because I think our rider with the most uh, time on here has actually got slightly different stats. Really interesting. So has moved up, really interesting, so 64 days, 8 hours on the bike, 52,000 kilometres and 314 uh, metres of climbing, but 2,090 spaces of pizza on level 88, level 88, it is the one and only Terminator. T2, Tracy Seeley, is the rider who is, I think, in the moment for 88, level 88 for Tracy. What do I run about here? That is some going.
But interestingly, has done it, let the 88 for Tracy, has teed to terminate, has done it in less days with different elevation and distance. Now, there has, has, has been a change in how you could move through the first 50 levels. And so it depends where you were when that change happened in those 50 levels, from 1 to 50, to see where you ended up now. Just uh, seeing that mass uh, off the back. So uh, uh, Laura Choke just uh, dropped off the back of the group here. Uh, not so uh, good to see. We can just jump in with Maz at the moment. Uh, looks like we've got uh, Lucy from the uh, Donny Rebels. Just have to uh, make up a little bit of ground here. Uh, kick it down at uh, nearly seven watts per kilo here. Trying to get back on to the group. So, uh, Laura, uh, just to let you know, Laura, show Laura, you still have time to do a jump out and jump back in again. And we do have the late join on. Laura is uh, going really, really uh, strongly as uh, she came in through. Now, we're going in through the line here with Lucy. Uh, we have uh, 12 laps uh, to go to our finishing line of 13 to the... Uh, End of the ride after the warm day as we go through the finish line tonight is at one lap to go the finish line at one lap to go. Now to see if you can just drop it back, great to see uh, that's not so here, just drop it off back just to uh, give a little bit of assistance to the uh, rider coming in, absolutely flying her way up here. So uh, Lucy from the uh, Donny Rebels going in a big dig now, here comes the uh, kick. So Alice uh, Fox, second going back and dropping back to help out here. Looks like uh, we've also got the uh, same here by uh, uh, Goche of uh, for the food race squad. The uh, gang going to try and get themselves, I'm sure, back together again as our helicopter gets a little bit of a look in. We can't go uh, too far around the circuit with the helicopter just because of the uh, amount of buildings, but it uh, makes a nice change to get a helicopter shot in to Crick City looking down on the really busy scene. And it shows you just how tight this turn is. It's not uh, always apparent when we follow our riders around, but this uh, sharp turn as you come around this angle here and head in towards the uh, gantry for the brief, it really is very, very tight indeed. Our helicopter uh, just uh, really highlighted that, but the uh, riders uh, coming down in and through, setting the uh, time in, but it's getting more confetti coming down as we drop in and down with our Donny Robert chasing on to the back of the uh, group at the uh, moment. So uh, just taking a little bit of a look. Technical issues today for Lucy. Oh, it's not good, Lucy. Uh, it's never good now. Just in with Maz at the moment. And our rival is just off the back here. This is the be uh, Gaucher of uh, the Food Race squad. Uh, so saving uh, Gaucher of... Uh, uh, the food race squad now have to chase back on. It's going to take a bit of doing. It's at 2.6 watts per kilo. Just uh, trying to uh, make way back in to the group at the moment. Getting uh, quite a few uh, ride offs have been uh, on the back chase back now. It's 3.5 watts per kilo, making a way in. back across and see the riders going through. There is a blank spot of coverage actually when we follow our riders in and around the circuit and that looks like we're going to be getting uh, that uh, uh, from Gaucher using indication that there are connection issues for the rider. Well, let's see if that's the case. Just in with Maz at the moment and uh, Alice Fonseca who are both waiting to pick up the uh, Poudre rider. So here we come, three riders coming in together at the moment. So uh, just see Saline and Maz and Alice Von Second. They're going to have about four seconds to close down onto the uh, group. So don't forget the laps counting on their way down. So it is 12 laps to the blue banner at the end of the warm down, 11 laps to go. 
11 laps to go at the line. We just see Mas bringing the uh, train of riders back up to the uh, front here. And uh, uh, I think uh, that is going to uh, be how these roads come in. And uh, so we've got uh, one or two just uh, late uh, roads coming in. It's not by my counting, uh, uh, I have to admit. It's because there is a lap board on the left hand side as you go over the finishing line. And even I can do the maths and taking one off whatever number it says to tell us where the finish line is. Map level maths as we make our way in. Nearly as good at the maths as I did for the uh, uh, BMX. Got a little bit of a gap in our know, uh, UCI work at the moment. I'm sure I'm not going to be back in a bit. It's not really, really well. I'm going to do a bit of recovery. Uh, anybody wants to know what a uh, weekend of commentary does to you, particularly overnight? Um, I'll show you, show you the Garmin stats, the HRV, uh, and the lack of sleep, and uh, how dead your body battery is. If it goes above about 11 every day, you do it really well. Most of the time, it's in minus uh, on the way through. Whilst you're trying to stream sentences, it's great. Uh, okay, so uh, just seeing most of the drop into the back there to uh, dump the uh, burrito. That is very nice. Dropping, the, dropping off the back to drop the burrito to get rid of it out of the way before rejoining the group. That is very good. That, that's proper chain gang combat, that is. That's uh, really nice to see. So, uh, Angela Webster on the way to... I don't know what uh, uh, how many lots uh, uh, on the road. So that might just come with my way here. Just uh, see if I can pick anybody else. Making my way back in towards the group. Group coming together on the uh, big square of the circuit at the moment. Top right hand side of the uh, map is uh, the uh, key uh, indicator of where our riders are. One big group making their way in around the circuit. Just a little bit of a uh, uh, bump that you can go over coming around that uh, tight left hand bench before you come to the big screen. And you take the uh, left hand turn back round into the uh, slight chicane. So, one group here on the well, oh, wow, that is uh, women on the uh, Wednesdays when we get to the line this time. It should be 10 laps to go for our riders as the main way in the group. It's uh, uh, going to be uh, uh, keep room with the, the right line. We're going to pick our uh, beacon at the moment. So riding in with our uh, yellow beacon, coming down the straight, coming up and to the uh, orange arch, left-hand side of your screen, if you have too many on there, it says 11 laps, which means it is 10 to go to the end of the ride as a uh, structured workout ramped, possibly turns into a race. It's 11 to go to the end of the ride, that includes the warm down, so 10 laps to go to end. Go. Not long enough to be able to start the camera down to be able to see the digits. Now, just talking earlier on about fans, just a quick message. If you are fancy going out and having some of that fun in the sun with a group of like minded uh, wild riders, then uh, we've got quite a number of people like, heading out into France in May for the uh, WOW in France. It's an open invite uh, from the Full Speed Events uh, team to our WOW riders to uh, come out to the Chirac to uh, uh, experience some of the riding. We've got some great uh, cafes, some great rides, some amazing scenery. It'll be some great weather almost invariably out there. will be very lucky to catch uh, very much uh, in the way of uh, uh, anything other than uh, wall to wall sunshine out there. Uh, lots of uh, cake as well, no surprises there, although Miss Cookie uh, is currently away in uh, Switzerland. The uh, cake challenge has been uh, uh, absent so far, but lots of great uh, cafes as well. It's great riding as well. We'd love to see you out there. If you go onto the WOW Facebook page, you'll find that there is a uh, chat link. Uh, and, uh, if you don't get in touch with Emma from Full Speed Events, it's at biking underscore Emma on Instagram. Get in touch with Emma, come out, have a ride. There'll be mechanic support out there for you as well. Uh, ex professional team mechanic out there to spun your bikes if you need it. There's going to be uh, 
great support for floating about at times as well. Uh, we're going to have uh, a great load of rides planned for the week. And uh, really flexible updates as well, because uh, we just love to uh, share the uh, fun out there. Very, uh, we are very privileged to uh, have a uh, HQ out there as well. And uh, really looking forward to have people, whether you want to go camp in the uh, orchard or whether you fancy... Uh, uh, one of the uh, local uh, sheets or the uh, PBs, an old mill perhaps, uh, down by a chateau. We've got uh, plenty of options for you, so do just get in touch if you want anything that's suggested. Uh, any uh, questions, head to uh, director to Emmett at biking underscore Emma on Instagram. Now the ramp's starting to uh, pick up three and a half watts per kilo. Uh, currently uh, making our way in through. We've gone over the uh, late join point, so anybody who leaves now uh, will not be able to get back in again. So they're going to be uh, pretty keen to try and stay in with the uh, group. The uh, group's still all tucked together. You can see our yellow and red beacons are in here. They're going to hit the line for nine laps to go. Nine laps to go. So both hands up in the air, put one thumb down, it's whatever number of digits you've got less than this, uh, uh, you uh, are uh, an Eckington resident, in which case you probably can't count it anyway. So making the way in and round through, the uh, group coming through nice and smoothly round that heavy bed, on to the climb once again. Our uh, red beacon looking after the uh, riders in there, a quick reminder. Uh, for you of the course and profile. Because uh, the course profile here, you can see left hand side going up that long drag from the top of the course profile, making our way up that climb. Maybe easy to uh, see when we bring down our 3D, our 2D, and our 3D. So you can see coming up the uh, bigger section of the uh, climb of that long drag, which takes us up into this slightly roller coaster. And that's where we pull up onto the top. We're just coming up to the top of the uh, platform. That is at uh, uh, 0.6k. We're going to go over the uh, top. We're going to drop down 0.9k into the lap. That steep descent indicated by that light blue on the uh, fellow viewer. Graphics don't get color viewer available for all of your rides. All you need to do is take this driver account to a fellow viewer account. The premium account has got lots of extra features. So if you want to uh, really geek out on those stats, then uh, do make sure you jump on to fellow viewer and it works wherever you are as well. So in underneath the premium line, once again, down into the uh, descent, the group uh, riding at uh, three and a half walls per kilo. That ramp up has been winding today as we make our way down into this confetti. It's snow confetti absolutely everywhere, which is uh, great to see. John Lee took nicely into this group today. Uh, John getting stronger and stronger as the uh, rides go back. If you see John down now, uh, I'm sure one of our uh, elite tricks, but somebody has dropped in a coffee break. Very interesting to see. I think that to be Jill, uh, Jill Vale in there. So our riders make their way round the uh, left turn. We uh, group nicely together now. How long are we going to wait until that trigger is pulled? Remember, when the three Gs and the three Os are uh, given, that means that there are no limits. The limiters are broken at that point. So thrown out the window, over the shoulder, uh, disposed of in a responsible and environmentally friendly way, obviously. But we get rid of the limiters and we get ourselves ready to see who is going to take this over the line. Now the road to be is rear Bob. Can anybody hold Bob's at bay? We will have to see. Uh, it's a cracking ride that last week. Very interesting to see uh, the uh, issues are going on. A real battle. Uh, scene is definitely on form. Interesting uh, not having uh, uh, sorry with her or uh, any the Indian squad really to uh, take her on. She seems to turn out jump out very strong. As our riders come down in through eight laps now to the edge. So that is going to be about 15 k to finish. Uh, 15 or 14.2. That has been to do with the end of the day. 
coffee deficit, not good. Towards the climb again. We're back still together. Oh, holding oh, the three feet off the kilo. See the first one's going down. Ramp up the pace in here. Everybody looking pretty comfortable though. We have yo yo and on off the back at the moment. This group makes some way through just to see it now. The uh, red beacon just picking up with the riders, just dropping in there. A uh, burrito off the back, that looks like that is going to be Pip Moore, who's uh, just uh, dropped the burrito off the back, so it doesn't affect the riders. But you know, you can get that on the uh, Donny Chain, though. You haven't really been dumping a bit in the middle of everybody else on the way through. That looks like me, well, I've uh, lost Pip out of the uh, group there, so let's dive back in. There's a uh, big kick on their way down, it's a super short descent. There's Bill's on my vent and Bill's on his feet, dropping down. See Mazar Red Beacon also having an uh, anvil as well. Down very quickly on to the back of the uh, group. Deep rear front, this rear, going to be the uh, fastest uh, set up on Swift. Pretty much at the minute, we're just uh, in with our uh, beacon. And um, yeah, so yellow beacon as we uh, get the call to go to four watts per kilo. So four watts per kilo, the pace caught by our yellow beacon. That is going to make things difficult for the riders. Anybody who was on the limit, my goodness, you can really feel it now. As the riders come in through, this is going to be tough stuff. John Lee said that's a sprint finish at uh, Watts per Kilo. We know that's not true. Okay, so the group coming around that turn, making it around the bend. You can see the bends off to the side. Here we go, take that right hand turn. Going to hit the uh, line very shortly indeed with our yellow uh, beacon coming in towards the uh, gantry once again underneath the arch we go remember that lap board shows the number to the blue banner because it is going to be seven laps to go seven laps to go to the finish line seven laps to the finish line at the moment as we make our way in through running in with our yellow beacon and ever from full speed events The only climb on this grid city course. Early uh, launching the uh, life of Swift for the grid city. So, uh, designed for racing, it uh, makes for a great ride, a great group workout. At the moment, as they come up, and the uh, beacon uh, here within the group is still staying pretty much together as they make the way through our helicopter, just uh, having to uh, leave the uh, roads at the moment. See that group now through holding CPUs to the front of second wheel. Looks like they're doing from a field of rider who's just tucked on the side of the uh, group here. So we see uh, uh, Emma Dooley in here as well, tucked on the side of the uh, group. Not uh, letting the group go too far in that uh, distinctive big kit, the uh, yellow and the blue. So when they hit the line next time, it's going to be six laps to go. That is uh, definitely uh, disappearing very, very fast indeed as our riders made their way down the uh, descent here, led out by Mobs at the moment. And you know the pack's still together, despite that call, that increasing pace from our yellow beacon. They come around that tight left hand turn now. We'll be thinking about what kind of power they want to have for the rest of the ride. Right, it's going to be thinking about what they're going to need as they make the way in and through. It's going to be really critical to have something useful for the weak point on the way round in towards finishing them. Maybe for a strong point that's uh, when you're going to attack, possibly for that sprint finish. But that drag will really take its toll once we go on to that flat out pace. We're not there yet. 
We're heading that way now. The ramp has steadily increased throughout the course of the round. Well, it's only Wednesday here, live on the full speed events. So YouTube and channel coming out with the riders really winding it up at the moment. Looking now very, very strong coming round into that little tight left hand turn. So who's doing it now? Bobs is leading at the moment. And the uh, group yet haven't been given the three G's and the three O's. You can only speculate. Oh, we all battle on the going to take the right hand turn here. We're in with Doody. We're going to come in and see the line. Underneath we go. Six laps to the finishing line. Six laps to the finishing line. We're heading in to that hairpin turn at the moment. To the uh, climb, you can just see the uh, beacons uh, together at the moment, winding the way around that sinuous, twisting section of road up through the park, rather than taking the main road route up alongside the park road. Just roller coasters the gradient that a little bit more as it goes through this triangular section of uh, parkland, heading up to the top. It will rejoin the main road as they come around the left of the gradient eases. Percent down to minus nine. We're kicking back up to eight percent. It then levels off very quickly here. Uh, it's still a climb, no two percent as they make their way in along the straight at the moment. So the group together, the red beacon holding station at the back, the yellow in the middle of the uh, group. This uh, group looking strong as it come in and around. Heading Taking that left hand turn, looks like our yellow beacon really pulling hard here to keep that group moving at pace, to keep that ramp accelerating upwards here on the assistance of rear mobs alongside as well through underneath the uh, uh, banner they go. And you can see the go, go, go has gone there on the descent. And look at this, the yellow beacon has put in an anvil on the descent. Hit the go, 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 determined to rip us apart on that descent. Use that momentum all the way down there. Great timing. And you can see that Mobs is having to put in a uh, feather there. She's used the power up on the way down. And that acceleration, well, it is shed riders all over the place. What a uh, move there as it go down. Mobs has gone to the front. The pack is chasing hard here at the moment. There are a lot of feathers going in on this slight rise around this left hand turn here and the pressure really is on the riders now the go 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 has gone least jane light has been uh, distance from the back of the group she did five watts for killer she's drawn a vast experience of riding on and swift here to get up to that front group as you can see they're chasing mobs down mobs is leading them out but they are all over a back wheel as they make the way in now, so the leading group are going to come round this turn. They're going to be led through by Rhea Mobs, the rider who we're riding in with at the moment. It's now five laps to go. Five laps left to go here on the Wound Shay Gang with the group chasing Mobs at the moment. We're seeing personal best by our riders all the way down through the groups here as they come in underneath the line at the moment. Massa with the uh, Sailing uh, Gojea from uh, the uh, Food Race squad. The Red Bus is in action. I think they're going to have quite a few uh, people to mop up on the way round. The uh, uh, Room Wagon, that is the Red Beacon, looking uh, pretty quick today. He's <laughs> got fast as the Red uh, Beacon buses. Uh, I think they're going to pick up uh, our Yellow Beacon, who did that massive pull to really wind it up and to uh, break it up here as up over the top they go. Mobs is away, she's at nine seconds, she made nine seconds on that climb and he's now Sealy on there. Now if this group don't work, they'll find themselves getting picked up by all of the rest of the riders, which is a very dangerous thing to go when you've only got four laps and you how much are you prepared to leave to that final sprint? Well, we know that Rear Mobs is not going to leave it to a sprint. We know she's going to really wind it up on the front, really taking it out at the moment. The head of Webster looks like a, the head of Vale, Dooley, uh, Lucy in and there in the top 10. Clark in there, Sealy in there as well. 
Lee's right in that front group at the moment, but they are all left chasing Moss. And it's Fonseca at the moment who's putting the pressure on the rest of the riders. And they come down there, over the top goes Joanne Lee. Lee with the, currently the fastest lap time. I think that is likely to disappear when uh, Mobs comes in through the uh, line that attack over the top of the climb. I mean, she's really well known. She can afford to just ease off a little bit here, get her breath back. This uh, course is all about using your speed and your strength where it really, really counts. And that is what we're seeing now. The group behind have distanced uh, Lisa Jade Light. They have distanced our red yellow beacon. The distance star red, who is uh, currently bringing the uh, bus around the top of the circuit. But that big chase group are all chasing Bobs, who's going to take the right hand turn. As you can see the line with four laps to go to the finish. Remember, there is a one lap warm down at the end as Bobs goes past the bed. She comes in underneath the uh, gantry, underneath the archway. She's going to make her way down this straight. So four laps to finish, one lap to walk down to finish the ride here today. 20 seconds to gap, and it's now Lucy who's leading this out at the front. Real good pedal game. Said 90 rev. They can be really able to react. If you push a big gear, low revs, it's harder to react. It's uh, much harder to respond. You can get some massive power down using a bigger gear. It's very difficult to be. Have a lot of suplex as well. Austin Rhodes can do everything, and the riders here today shows an incredible skill. And talent here on the Jay Gang, this leading group still so closely matched. And this could well come down to spin. There's a whole load of uh, parents being thrown down there, with several feathers. Also, seeing the burritos are plenty, and we still see the comeback in and out, making it difficult for everybody out there in that group. The uh, riders definitely going to be feeling that pace to come up. Bobs has got us up another few seconds, three seconds from the group. They're not in the side behind, just waiting to see. We see them come around that turn, but uh, I can't see them coming into sight, so Bobs as the full length of that section. In fact, those riders behind it just coming into that left turn now, led by Webster. Chewy Clark is right on her heels here in that pink jersey, pink cap. Then you can see that we've got Dooley with that fear blue and yellow. You've got Vail in the green and blue. The uh, next uh, uh, with uh, presented by Ed Short Squad in there. Charlie, nice and tucked in. Jordan uh, going very strongly on these downhills, kicking into the descent. Just seeing Fonseca though, he's put in a anvil here, so the anvil has gone in from Fonseca, and this is starting to break the uh, group a little bit here. Can she go clear? Can she go and stay away? Fonseca's got the speed and the strength to do this. She's just got to get the timing right here. Will she go for a last lap move on the run into the finish? It's going to be a big, big arse. Oh, Mobs pulling another two seconds, 25 seconds now from Mobson to Webster. Webster leading the group behind uh, as they come down this straight. And uh, I think uh, there are ten, nine riders in front of Lisa Jane Lake, which means there are eight riders in this group. They're all chasing Mobs. Mobs is going to come through the line here. That lap board changes to four laps to the blue band, which means it is three laps to go. The anti penultimate lap for rear mobs here on the women only Wednesdays. I think it is a case of Alia Jetta Est because Bobs has crossed her room because she is now fully committed to this breakaway. She knows that she can't go back, she can't take back that attack, she just has to keep on pushing. And keep trying to go clear behind. It's going to be Lucy leading them through underneath the gantry round that left hand turn. They're on to the climb here. And all the rest of the runners are trying to stay clear, being lapped by Mobs, I suspect, at this stage. Because this group are the only ones within touching distance as Mobs makes it 30 seconds clear and starting to lap riders. Webster, though, ripping it up on this climb. 
really starting to pressure the rest of the riders. Seeley is coming though. But that there was a seven and uh, what's the kilo kick from Seeley. Both seconds on there. Webster's on there. Dooley has made the injunction across by ghosting across the uh, group there. But this is the front of the chasing group behind. They're going to see uh, Saline uh, Gauthier, who is uh, going to uh, be passed by the chasing group. They are making their way in and around. They can see the Red Beacon. Red Beacon's going to get lapped, I think, as well. So it's all about that big push in and around the top of this turn. This is the big uh, chase pack at the uh, moment, making the way along towards the uh, banner. This is the top of that premier segment at the moment. Also the 27.10, sorry, 27.1 second uh, going through. It's about two seconds quicker, 29 seconds uh, for Lucy Negan. New personal best going through that time. We come around the left hand turn at the base of that. He said more quiet at the moment. How long do people think they can stay clear? How hard can they work? 35 seconds. Two mobs who's already coming round the uh, turns to catastrophe to all and uh, take it away in and two wars. Jason depends where we started the ride some 52 minutes ago. Fonseca at the moment on the front with Webster. These two looking at the moment like they are burning the most energy up on the front here. But are they uh, doing damage to the riders behind? Because that surely is the key here making sure you use the effort to damage the runs behind is going to be absolutely critical as Mobs comes into the line so Maria Mobs at the moment goes through she has two laps to go two laps to go for Maria Mobs on the penultimate lap behind the riders are going to take that right hand turn and again Lucy from Donny Rubbers going to take them through ahead just a little bit uh, Jill Vale, Vale hugging on the wheels here. What power-ups are they going to get? They're getting into a critical time as they go over the top of the frame, go underneath and the archway. It's all about making sure you use them wisely. With two laps to go to the finish line with one lap one down to give us those three laps. Show on the board here. Round the turn we go. Right, time to start seeing who's playing what cards here. On to the climb they go. So Lucy from the Dunny Rebels has got the arrow going. He drops off as the feather is employed by Fonseca. Now Fonseca surely wants to rip it up here. Really make some legs hurt. Use that feather to her advantage. See, he's covered the move off. Absolutely nailed that. But Jill found ghosting away up through the group, but not off the front there as they come on to the final rise. 10% on that little kicker. Now, it looks to me like Julie Clark has thrown in a burrito. This is going to slow this group down. Rear mobs at 31 seconds at the moment, so uh, not just in out too much more than two seconds now as they come in and along. But it looks to me like Joanne Lee wanted to keep the pace up reasonably high here as they come into the tight left hand turn and go underneath the green banner. It's going to come up in front of them. What are they going to get? What can they use as they come around in towards their last lap? Are they going to get an anvil as Lee leads them down? Going to come to the 90 degree left hand turn. We go on to the couples, on to the descent. And it looks like Webster's the one who has picked up an anvil. She's leading them down here, really wanting it. And open the gap here. If Webster pushes with that anvil and nobody else uses one, they're going to have to work. It's for second leading the chase behind. Lee really working hard, trying to keep on top of those riders, trying to make sure he keeps them absolutely nailed as come round. They're two turns behind a rear most who's at 39 seconds from second brings gap down, closes down on uh, Webster. So does Clark, so does the rest of the group. We are all back and together again. Chasing the rear most from second is leading this group out now. She's got a little bit of a gap. Is it enough uh, to make them work? I'm not sure it is. As rear mobs comes down, it is going to uh, be one lap to go for mobs. One lap to go for our race leader, rear mobs, who goes underneath the gantry. He's going to take this left hand turn for the last time when she has to kick. Remember, 
The last lap is a walk down. There's always a walk down on the end of the chain gangs. Let's give that uh, chance and to spin out that lactic acid to encourage people to do a walk down. Cyclists were our own worst enemy when it comes to walk down, stretching and warm ups generally. So here we go. It is one lap to go, one lap to go. This is when you've got to make it count. Who's going to go for the long range attack? Can anybody do a mobs after mobs? And go chaser down the runs in from here with Lucy here from the Donnie Rebels. She leads them around that left hand turn. Who has got a power up here they can use? In goes the arrow again. So the Donny Rebel getting power up after power up, getting arrow after arrow on the way through here now. Just seeing a big kick coming from behind. Just seeing those fire socks engaging. And at the moment, Lucy from Donny Rebels really winding this one. Seconds covered the move off. So as Sealy, they're racing the way around these zigzag turns. At the moment, you can just see Sealy comes on to the front of the group. She's going to come around this left hand turn first. Opening up a little bit of a gap, kicking over the top. It's going to be the top of the main part of the climbing done very shortly indeed. Immediately behind Sydney comes Webster, though, who has got the Rider in her sights in front. That is the Terminator T2 at the front. Then it's Webster immediately behind. Then Fonseca and Clark. The gaps are not huge, but you can just uh, see these uh, riders, they need to not let these two go too far. They're a dangerous duo, the dynamic duo that is uh, Tracy Seeley and Angela Webster. They make their way around the turn, they're on to the cobbles. Now, what have they got? What can they use here? Is there a power-up at their disposal? Fonseca's got herself an anvil here on the way down. So Fonseca closing down on the leaders, as has Julie Clark. So Clark has got across the uh, group, makes her way in to the uh, group in front. 48 seconds in front. It's our race leader who is about to come storming around those turns in the two towards the finish in a no short order. He's off the uh, front. The group behind has come back together again. So it looks like Mobs is closing on the heels of our yellow beacon here. Uh, I think the yellow beacon's uh, that last lap is going to be a one where Mobs, who goes underneath the line, takes victory. So Rhea Mobs takes the win here once again. She eases off the pedals behind the kick is on. And this is the run for the line. Rhea Mobs taking the win again here on the wow. Seeley's gone for a long one. She's put the arrow in. She's kicked early. There's one more right hand turn. Can they close it down? Oh, the kick is coming behind, but it's going to be too late, I think, here. Is Seeley going to be? The first of the riders behind, I was going to say the first human, but the Terminator is the rider who comes through. She takes second place here today. Webster's going to be third. Clark, Fonseca, Lucy, Joanne Lee. This will be Jill Vail, Emma Dooley coming in and through the line there. Uh, we're going to just uh, take a little bit of a run back behind because that was a brutal run in and uh, through there. So fantastic riders to make the way in around those turns. I think we're going to see Lisa Jane Lee and Dan Sally going with two to go. Uh, Lisa's coming around that uh, square turn at the moment. She's going to be the next of our runs I think approaching the line. She's at 34.8. She's in 10th place at the moment. She's got uh, no one in touching distance behind. I think uh, we're going to have a clear run in front for Lisa Jane Lee as well. Everybody else easing off those pedals and really just uh, letting their legs spin the way down this amazing ride. Well timed attack there by Seeley as she came down this section to break clear of the group to take a clear second place and it was a sprint in for third form all the way in and down. A quick reminder, make sure guys you warm down if you're watching live. Really, really is key. But the next rider heading into the line is Lisa Jane Lee. to be a top 10 here on the women's only Wednesday for late as she goes in through the line here today. So we're gonna take a little bit of a run back because I think our next rider out there is gonna be the yellow beacon that is ever from full speed event. She's on her last lap here today. That was some ride. The Grid City Circuit is a tough one. It really does rip 
like Zabar uh, all the way round. That way round for the Battle Lab, I think, is particularly tough. Burritos all over. Fun, uh, yeah, definitely going to be uh, tough stuff. Uh, so, uh, fantastic riding. Wow, 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 says our red, uh, says our yellow beacon. Can't even say what colour it is now. That was such a finish. Rear mobs absolutely knocking it out of the ballpark uh, here today. Uh, great to see Rhea doing the business once again. She just pulled over at the side of the road. You're wounded tonight here on the NJ uh, gang. As we see our yellow beacon coming in, and currently in 11th place. Going to take that right hand turn. Uh, able to type, but we will give uh, Emma a chance to get her breath back before we dive back in with our yellow beacon. So right hand turn coming up here, it is the run for the line. Are we going to get a sprint from uh, Emma on the way round? Uh, quick reminder from Emma, yeah, if we all go to uh, Greater London Flat as she goes round with one lap to go and to warm down. Uh, so we see, I think, our next two runs out on the course. I think it's the 12th place at the moment for Sailing uh, Gauche. And uh, what will be a 13th uh, for Mass, the red beacon on the way round. I think uh, Miss Jane Lake going to be uh, helping out the uh, two there on the way through as well, which is really nice. So uh, at least make the most of a run around that lap. They're on the way in on their last lap here. So next week is our very last. Uh, well, it's only Wednesday for this season. Do make sure you give at Viking Emma and uh, Full Speed Events and at uh, Matt Fitz Payne a follow to see what we're up to, whether that's our eSports show on a Sunday, whether it's some of the work with the UCI. We're going to be covering all of the XCE mountain bike, the uh, Cross Country Eliminator. Really looking forward to that. We're uh, going to be covering the rest of the BMX. Uh, uh, World Cup Series, we're going to be heading out to the Mountain Bike World Championships in Andorra. Looking forward to go uh, to uh, Pal Arizal for that, uh, for the Championships. We've got lots more coming up. Do join us uh, for the uh, rides coming up. And of course, don't forget, you can come out and join us out in France as well as we watch uh, Sailing Gauche and uh, uh, Mass Art Red Beacon make the way in towards the finish here. So the run to the line, they're going to be able to uh, spin their legs down. I'm hoping that our yellow beacon might have got a breath back enough to, to talk to our rights. What do we think? Let's have a listen. Let's try and grab the yellow beacon. We'll give it a go. You never know. We may be lucky. Are you alive, Emma? I'm all good here. Thank you, Matt. Sat up and taking it easy, I can tell by the echo. I know, sorry, I've got to move forward a little bit nearer the microphone. That's generally a good move, <laughs> rather than bouncing <laughs> around the studio. <laughs> you can tell that microphone set for one position only. We're watching our oh. red beacon come in here with Sailing Gauche and uh, Lisa, who's completed her warm down lap at the same time, making it a, uh, a joined up bus here. Uh, a bendy bus yep. tonight. Uh, great to see the work being done by our red beacon. It didn't have to do too much tonight, but it's, uh, once the pace goes up, it's an invaluable job, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And thank you ever so much to Mad for uh, stepping in and doing that tonight. You know, coming back off her ski holiday where she's been whited out in the snow every day. Back onto the bike, back onto the wow, back onto the red beacon. So thanks ever so much, Mad. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I think Miss Cookie is back in red next week uh, for London. Well, that is going to be a exciting cookie on the red beacon. Uh, and I think you're on our yellow one. I am. We will uh, have to see. And it is the last one, so it is a bring a friend, isn't it? It is. Everybody needs to bring a friend next week. It is the last one of the season. We need a very, very jolly pack to see us out for 23 24. Well, can't wait uh, for that. We're going to let our red beacon pass. And uh, Sailing Gaugier made the way round. I know you're on your way in to uh, was the finish very shortly here. Uh, and uh, 
I know you've got a busy uh, you've got busy uh, weekend coming up. Tomorrow it's Donny Chang, so I'm going to be on the mic for that. We have got our regular Sunday eSports show. You can join us for. Don't forget, of course, though, Emma will be back on the mic for the ICD for the third of the challenges, all part of the ICD race series for International Women's History Month. Uh, Emma, we can follow you on Instagram. That's the best place, isn't it? Oh, indeed, at Viking Emma. So make sure you give Emma a follow. We're going to leave Emma to make her way in and round. And it leaves me, the only job I need to do is to say to you, please do bring a friend. You can see that we are going to be over there. We're going to be at London. We are on Greater London Flat. We're here at 6.15 GMT. You can join on the Zwift or you can register. It is free to register. It just means that we send you the links directly to your inbox. And that has been all the way through the season. Thank you, everybody who's registered. We don't give you address. You email details out to everybody. They are literally to just try and make life easy for you to get on to the WOW. Thank you for joining us on the show. Do give us a follow. Every follow we get, whether that is at Matt Fix the Pain, at Biking underscore MRO, at Full Speed Events, on the YouTube, on Instagram, really does help us. So please... Do jump on board and do that. We have got the Donny Chain Gang coming up tomorrow. You can register at, at the same place. It is www.buytickets.at slash fullspeedevents.com. But from all of the riders, from Emma, our yellow beacon, from Maz, our red beacon, from me, Matt Payne, stay safe. We'll see you again soon next week.